And so not only does, does missions cultivate a heart of gratitude, it also creates what we call a heart of go. A heart of go, a heart that responds to the need. And you're probably familiar with the scripture in Mark 16, 15, when it, it says, he said to them, go into all the world and preach the gospel to all creation, right? We know that, that missions is about spreading the gospel. But sometimes this seems like such a big daunting task for us that almost can feel unreachable or unattainable. And so when you give, you commit to give to Global Compassion, you're giving to our missionaries. Like, so cool to hear from Tim Anderson to think about yeah. your dollars are reaching people in the jungles of Ecuador. Yeah. Isn't that incredible that they are hearing the name of Jesus, some of them for the very first time? It creates this heart of go. And we want to invite Ray and Vera to come on up to this stage with us. They recently went on a missions trip to Colombia. Come on up, guys. And they're going to share a few minutes with us about their experience because they've kind of caught the vision. They've caught this bug that now every time they have the opportunity to go, you guys just keep saying yes, right? You just keep saying yes. So go ahead and share with us about your most recent trip. I don't know who's starting. To, yes, to Columbia. Forward. Yes, good morning. Good step morning, into church. the light. <laughs> Yes. Um, yeah, recently we went to Colombia, and it was a blessing when you go out and you, God had put it in our hearts to go to mission trips. The first mission trip that we went, it was to Colombia last year, and we was there, and we was seeing all the needs that was there, and we yeah. was like, wow, it, this is really real. Mm -hmm. So we went over there. We helped them out. We did 14 services over there. We help them, we bring them food. With every necessity they have, we supply to them. Praise God for that. And then this last recent one, God put in our hearts to go again to Colombia for different places in Colombia. So God put in our hearts to go out there. We went out there and uh, we saw more needs at all and we went and blessed them. And uh, it was amazing. Um, it's a privilege to be in the United States and all things that we have, right. it's just a privilege. We are very honored to have what we have in the United States, but when you go out there and you see the need of people, how they live, it was people they didn't even have roof. The floor it was just dirt, like they were saying about the uh, Dominican Republic. It's very, very, um, it broke my heart. Mm -hmm. So, and um, we, we, we keep going to Colombia, we have, when we said yes to the Lord to go and visit these places, he has touched our hearts. So um, he has opened doors as well. We have now invitation to go to Thailand. We have to go to Panama, to Cuba, to Cuba um, Bolivia, Chile, um, and Ecuador. <laughs> so God has opened the doors just because we have the heart to go and serve the Lord yeah. for what he's been calling us for. Yeah. So we praise God for that. And it's, it's an honor, a privilege to be part of the church and to go out and go and see the need and be there for them and help them and encourage them. And let me tell you, those, those people really worship God. Those people have a hunger to the Lord. They are willing to accept anything. Anything that you give them, they happy and grateful for it. Yeah. So that is in our hearts to keep going doing mission trips. God told us go, and we was <laughs> obedient, and we just go. Yeah. So right. we do his will, yeah. so right. thank the Lord for that. I'm going to put here my wife. She's going to, a little bit of experience with the mission trips as well. Yeah. Well, praise God. God did really speak to us, but I remember when God spoke to me. It was in this church mm. during one of these services and missions, and I was sitting right there in the back, and I remember the missionary from Romania, mm. and she was speaking about how God moves the heart of people in other places, and I'm like, wow, I would like to go and see, and it really touched my heart that I was called at that time. I didn't realize it, but it's been many years ago, and now that the God opening doors and bringing connections, yeah. and for us to be able to go and experience what God had planned for us so long ago, it's just wow. amazing. It's really, truly amazing, but there's there is a greater need out there. Mm -hmm. There's a need for more of us to go. There is need yeah. for more of us to support the missionaries that's already there, because the need for these people are greater than here, yeah. and if we give 
We're really giving it to the Lord. The Lord will do tremendously with just a little bit that you give. Yeah. So, and honestly, like every single time that we be asked to go, like you said, <laughs> we just can't say no. We just see how we can make it happen, how we can raise money. Because every time you go, you need to bring so you can bless them, so you can further right. the kingdom of God. Because there's already established people that is there, but they are can't do much because there's not enough finances like they cannot go and bless people in the prison every single time you know with something because they don't have it right. they barely yeah. surviving themselves but they still go visit people in prison they still go outside in like on this last mission trip we went to uh homeless people they do it like a church really good church they go twice a month to feed homeless and to share the gospel, to pray for them and to do whatever possible to just help them. And, you know, there are limited resources for them, but if you give towards that, they can do it more often. They can reach more people. People can be transformed. I was even thinking we maybe just need to come together and make, I don't know, shower boss for them so they can be able to shower because it, it, they just don't. Right. It, like basic necessities they don't have. They sleep on the ground. I mean, it is heartbreaking. Right. Yeah. So we need to just come together more and to just give to the missions and to support and also to pray. Because when we was on the mission field, we was attacked by the enemy as well. Yeah. You know, our voices got just attacked. You know what I mean? We just been like sick. But every single time we needed to go and, you know, share the gospel and encourage the uh, already believers to Go because over there you also encourage the believers that you're visiting to continue to do that. Right. You empower them, you know, you like, you're the light in the darkness because they sometimes get so um, disappointed because, you know, they don't have the resources. But when you come and you're able to provide something that they can be a blessing to others, it, it burns something inside of them, and they just get on fire. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, on the first mission trip, when we went, and we went to the northern country of Colombia, and there was a desert, we had uh, spoken in a couple of the uh, churches in Bucaramanga. And so when the other people heard, they wanted to go with us. They wanted to go, and they wanted to be part of it. Mm -hmm. Because over there, if you can't, I mean, can't afford it, you just don't do it. And that's the bottom line. Yeah. But if you give and you, you know, support those people who go, they can also encourage others over right. there and help them get that fire going. Yeah. yeah. One of the things that Vera said to me when we were talking was, once you see the need, and right. that's what I hear from you guys over and over, that once you see the need, you can't help but say yes to God. And so yeah. we're so proud of you. Let's give Ray and Vera a Thank great big hand. Thank you, guys. We're so proud of them for saying, for saying yes, and apparently we're not going to see them much on Sundays because they're <laughs> going to be traveling around the world sharing Jesus, and we love it. We wouldn't have it any other way. Um, but, but it's seeing that need and responding. Mm. And so it does, when you give, you, you were, once you say yes to God, it's kind of like the snowball, isn't right. it? Like you see, it's kind of like the idea of being a blessing or receiving a blessing. Once you get a taste of it, it just makes you want to do it more and more. Yeah, and, and you know, it's awesome is our young people uh, this summer are going to be taking a, a short-term um, domestic missions trip to the Los Angeles Dream Center. And, and so, because it, it really changes you when you go on the short-term missions trip. And, and so our students are going to be flying out to L.A., several parents. We have 12 people going on this trip and, and just going to be able to see the difference in going and feeding homeless and, and, and handing out clothes. And, and so it's, it's going to be phenomenal. And those students' lives are going to be changed forever because it cultivates this, this um, you know, heart of go. I want to go. I want to go. I'm going to make a difference. 